Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to sit down and do a Q&A just because I feel like last year and you know so far this year as well I haven't been very active on here and it is my goal to get better at that. Um, so I thought like I should do a Q&A because I feel like I haven't actually properly spoken to you guys and like caught up with you so I thought it would be nice. I personally love watching these sorts of videos so I hope you do too. This is the most casual setting. Also the like lighting will change throughout this video because when we moved house one thing broke. I mean it could have been a lot worse so I'm glad it was only one thing but yeah the one thing that did break were my lights uh, like my softbox lighting that I used for filming YouTube videos so I'm literally sat in front of the window I feel like it's already getting dark and it's only 2 p.m uh so yeah that's great <laughs> and yeah please ignore the background if you haven't been watching my last couple of videos you might not know that we moved house so this isn't the most like aesthetically pleasing background but it will do <laughs> So I ask you guys on Instagram for questions. I will pop my Instagram on screen if you're not following me and you want to. And then I also asked in my last vlog, I think, just for some questions as well. So I'm just picking um, some from Instagram and then I'll answer the couple that I got on YouTube. So the first question I'm gonna answer is, why did you move so far away and do you plan to stay there long term? So for those of you who don't know or who haven't like watched the last couple of vlogs that I've posted, me and my fiance moved to this house a few weeks ago now and it's an hour away from where I used to live and basically where I was born, where I grew up. So yeah, Inverness was where I was born. I lived there for 25 years and then like a few weeks ago I moved out of it which was a big step and I know like it's not that far like it's just like over an hour away if you drive um, so it's not like I've left the country or something like that but I feel like it's a big step when you move out of your hometown whether that be like 15 minutes away an hour away or like four hours away like it still feels like whoa this is not scary but it just felt like I don't know like leaving the only place you've ever known it was a bit I guess yeah maybe scary so we were really happy in the flat that we lived in in Inverness it was like a really nice size two bed flat um, but there was just like certain things that we missed one being that we didn't have a garden and I think when you have a dog we might be able to see sleeping there like I just really wanted a garden for him but like even if we didn't have a dog like I just personally missed having a garden so much like you won't use it much in the winter but when it gets like to the good weather I remember last summer me just really missing having a garden I think it's so good to get outside and get fresh air and like I'm always out walking the dog and stuff like that but it's nice to just have your own space and just be able to sit out there and like read a book or something so I'm really looking forward to that in the summer now that we have a garden but yeah we just really wanted a garden we also found like with having a dog taking him out to the toilet like and just being around loads of other flats so like we would take Harley out to the toilet which is our dog and he's really reactive so we'd go out there and there'd be like someone standing like two doors down smoking and then we'd be like really stressed because Harley would be barking at them and it would be chaos or like we'd have to walk for ages because he wouldn't do the toilet like right outside our flax we didn't have any like grass there was like no area for him to go to the toilet so we'd have to walk for ages to try and get him to do the toilet and like yeah if there was just like a dog out or a person out it was chaos and stressful and me and Michael every time we would come in from taking Harley out to the toilet we'd be like how much easier would it be if we had a garden and it's so true like now that we have a garden we have our own space obviously that's fenced off and we could just go and take Harley out to the toilet and yeah he'll still still bark if he hears something but he's not actually seen anyone or like you know there's not just some person just standing there that he's gonna react to so it's definitely better so yeah I'd say that was the main reason is we wanted a garden um and also there was like some problems with our old flat with damp and like mold um which we didn't really recognize when we first moved in there but we were there for two years and it, the problem just started to get worse and a lot of our furniture and stuff was like ruined like I had to throw some of our curtains out uh, just because there was like mold everywhere and it was just not a nice smell it didn't look nice like when I took pictures of the wall when we were 
moving like they were covered in mold on the back um so yeah the flat had some problems even though like we loved it and we were there for two years it was great we wanted a garden um and yeah if we're talking like really small details i missed having a bath um but that's not the reason we moved but it's great that this house has a bath like i'm not gonna lie like that's how i de-stress and relax and i love my baths so yeah why did we move out to inverness well when we started looking at places that have a garden in inverness it's so freaking expensive like i cannot describe how expensive it is to live there and i don't know why it just keeps getting more and more pricey so yeah the reason that we moved further out was because you can get so much more for your money like this house a two bed house with a garden is less than what we were paying for a flat back in Inverness which is just crazy so you definitely get more for your money so it just made more sense it was a money saver and also I was kind of excited about moving somewhere new I felt ready for it and yeah I think it helps that I'm not that far from my family really like yeah they're an hour away but that's not a lot really i just realized i forgot to answer the second part of that question do you plan to stay there long term i don't see why not like i honestly it sounds so weird because we've only been here for such a short space of time but i honestly cannot see myself ever moving back to inverness again i mean never say never because you never know what happens but now that i know like you can get so much more for your money and i actually love like the small town life I really like it and I love the area that we're living in like we live by the beach there's nice walks like the neighborhood is really nice people are friendly like I really am happy living here and I don't see like why I would want to move back anytime soon like yeah but you just never know what the future holds but like I'm really happy here okay next question what group did you travel abroad with so last year I did like a European group tour and I did that with Kintiki and we went to Paris, Nice, um, Monaco, Pisa, Florence, Rome, Venice, Munich and where else? Edam, Amsterdam, like it was incredible and I would definitely recommend it. So yeah that was with Kintiki and then this year um actually quite recently i went to costa rica and i did that with a company called plot packers and if i were to choose my favorite i would say plot packers was better i think they're cheaper a lot more was involved in the price like a lot more was included whereas with kentucky there's a lot of like extras that you have to pay for um but like all of that is obviously advertised before like you buy it so you kind of know but yeah, i definitely say that I liked Plot Packers more as a company. Um, I'm planning on actually like doing a sit down video where I talk through like those trips and like if you have any questions about any of the companies that I travelled with, like let me know because I would definitely like to do a video on them and like maybe talk about how much it costs and like the pros and cons and things that were like included and stuff like that. I know that some people are like not a fan of like the group traveling but i personally really like it i know it's more expensive than if you were to do it yourself i know that i could go and do it myself and it'd be so much cheaper but for me personally i would rather spend more and feel safe because i'm with other people um that's just me personally but i just love also that everything is planned for you like i feel like when you go on holiday you don't want to be stressed well i certainly don't anyways and i just love that once you have booked that trip like you're fine like you just need to show up and then someone just shows you where you're going the, like all the transports organized like all the accommodations organized some of your meals are included and it's just so stress-free and hassle-free and i absolutely love it so i would personally recommend group travel um I absolutely love it and I will be doing another one again. <laughs> Are you still doing your swimming lessons and gym classes? So no I'm not. Um, obviously I would have had to stop doing them anyways because I've moved away but I could always join them again somewhere here. I'm sure I could find somewhere. But I actually stopped them quite a while ago now. I honestly can't remember. I feel like I didn't do it for much longer after I started 
the job that I'm in now, which I've pretty much worked there for a year now, I think. But basically, once I started that job, I just found that the like monthly payment was coming out of my bank every month and I was just thinking I've not even used that like I don't have time to use it sort of thing because the thing is is like so my swimming lessons was at um like a leisure centre so it included like a like the membership included my swimming lessons the use of the gym and like the classes like you go to all the different like Zumba, yoga, spinning, like aerobics like you could do there was loads of classes and I used it a lot before that when I was like unemployed at the start of last year. I laugh because that was a really stressful time of my life and I remember just crying all the time. Um, so if I don't laugh I'll cry. But yeah I used it a lot then because obviously I had a lot more free time. But then I feel like when you're working it's so hard to fit other things in your life. Like sometimes you don't even have time to eat or sleep so it's like how am I gonna have time to also exercise? Um, the thing was I was gonna just keep up for my swimming lessons because I was really enjoying them but I didn't really like that any time there was like an in-service day or something like that there would just be no swimming lessons and it was always like in-service days are like always on Mondays right or like bank holidays or whatever there would be no swimming lessons and my swimming lesson was every Monday so like there was literally it was getting to like some months where I was like I'm literally going to like two lessons like it just felt like I was paying this money for not really getting anything out of it really because it was like like I say I was going twice a month and it was like half, half hour lessons it was just really pointless I needed like something that was more consistent I would go every week and it would be a bit longer and also all the classes that I went to before I started the job that I'm in now they were like through the day classes um so yeah I just couldn't do them anymore they just didn't align so I basically was paying for this membership that I wasn't using so I decided to cancel it and I was like sad about it because of my swimming lessons but I feel like I made a lot of progress with my swimming and I now know like the basics so like I could go by myself to a swimming pool and just like work on it myself. Okay, we have a few travel related questions, which I love. So um, someone's asked, what's next for you in terms of traveling, next dream destination, next UK adventure? So I've got one more holiday booked for this year. I'm going to Gran Canaria in the summer. And then I think that's gonna be it for this year, just because obviously I went to Costa Rica at the beginning of this year. That was an expensive trip, like to me anyways, like flights, I had to get like three flights there, three flights back. It was expensive to me. Like I know money's different for everyone and sometimes I can say something's expensive in a vlog and someone will be like, oh my God, you cheapskate, that's not expensive. But like money is different to people. And for me, yeah, it was a really expensive trip. I do not regret one bit paying like for any holidays or travel that I've done because it's honestly like everywhere I've been is just like been the most amazing experiences and I would so much rather spend my money on like experiences, adventures, like yeah just learning things about different cultures and stuff like that and just seeing the world that to me is like priceless and that's what I want to spend my money on and I will never regret spending my money on traveling but obviously you know I do have responsibilities like here I have rent to pay and all my bills and stuff like that so yeah I would love to travel more throughout the year but I feel like blessed to even have been able to have done that Costa Rica trip because that to me is like a big trip um so yeah I've got one more holiday in the summer I'm going to Gran Canaria and then I am going to be saving because I'm actually going to South Africa next year which is a huge thing for me like that's a massive like bucket list thing um so yeah when I get back from Gran Canaria I am saving for the rest of the year because this is a dream trip and I feel like when I go away somewhere I want to be like I want to know that I can just do everything that I want to do and spend like I don't want to have to go there and be like oh no I need to watch my money like I really want to save for this so that when I go there if there's something that I want to do I can do it and I don't like Basically, I like to treat myself when I'm on holiday. I don't know if you guys are the same, but sometimes, like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, just eat out all the time. It's fine. Like, but I like that about a holiday because I feel like 
when you're in the UK like you work hard like all the time like it's just work 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 every day so why not when you go away and just treat yourself so yeah after Grand Canaria it's saving for South Africa. <laughs> Next dream destination New York it's always been New York and you might be wondering why I haven't gone to New York yet and it's because it's also my mum's dream destination so I really want to wait until me and my mum can go together because I think that would be something like really special to do. I was actually going to go to New York and then I was like no because it's like for me it's a once in a lifetime thing like when I went to Costa Rica that's a once in a lifetime thing when I went to Peru that's like you know when you just like some holidays are just you only get to do it once because for me like obviously if I was rich I would go back and visit a place but for me the world is so big so I want to go to different places all the time um obviously if I had the money to visit places again I would and if I had the time but because like you only get a certain amount of time off work like a certain amount of annual leave and you know I'm not rich you know I kind of just have to see as much as I can so in order to do that I can't really go back to places so yeah I feel like New York would be somewhere that I go once and I think it would be quite an expensive trip like obviously I know you can do it cheaper but again like when me and my mum do go we both said like we want to be able to do everything we want to not like miss out on things so we want to properly save for it and then be able to do like all the cool touristy things and just do everything that we want to do and get it all ticked off our list so yeah I cannot wait for the day that my mum and I managed to get to New York. Honestly, my dream would be to like earn enough money to be able to take my mum to New York. Like I would love to be like, I'm gonna treat you to New York. Like imagine being able to do that for your family, that would be incredible. And then for next UK adventure, this is gonna sound really bad, but I cannot remember where we're going. Um, But for Valentine's Day, Michael surprised me with a little staycation and we're gonna be bringing Harley with us and yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. It'll be nice to spend some quality time together and Michael and I love doing staycations together. He did say the name of it and then I forgot and then when I asked him, he's like, oh wait, I forgot. I've got it in an email somewhere. And then, yeah, he just hasn't told me since. So I'll vlog it for sure. So you guys will get to see it. But yeah, it's somewhere in Scotland near Loch I think he said but yeah I just love staycations like especially when we bring Harley as well because we love like doing outdoor stuff and we'll get to do lots of walks and I feel like staycations are so cozy and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Is the podcast ever coming back? I really enjoyed listening. So I'm actually going to be honest here I forgot that I even <laughs> made a podcast like that sounds really bad but I was so into it obviously when I first made it and like when I first started the podcast I was unemployed so I had like so much time and I loved making it and then like I say I just when I started my job I've just not had time for it and I feel like people get annoyed whenever I say like oh I've, I don't have time to do this or like I'm really tired from working like I think people think I I don't know this is just the impression I get from like comments or like messages and stuff like that is like people think that I think I'm a really hard working person. I'm the only person on this planet that works. But that's not the case. Like, I just vlog my life and yeah, I'll say like, oh, I'm tired from work. Like, it doesn't mean that I'm any more hard working than you who's watching this. Like, I just worked the average, like, full time hours. I worked five days a week, eight hours a day. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the average full time job yeah I just think people get the wrong impression when I say things like oh like for example I've, I've just worked 10 days in a row or something like that I'm not bragging like oh my god I work harder than you I'm just like I'm tired like isn't everyone like that I don't know but yeah my point is is that honestly when I'm working full-time I find it hard enough to even make these videos for YouTube let alone like try and post on TikTok or Instagram and my podcast so then things like take a back seat and I fall behind on things and that's like why I haven't really been that active on YouTube lately either is because I genuinely don't understand how people find the time to do things like other than work I just feel like all I do is walk Carly go to work then when I finish work I say go to work, I work from home. So yeah, I walk Carly, go to work, and then when I'm done with work, I walk Carly again, eat my dinner, like shower or have a bath, and then go to bed. Like, I don't understand how people even have time to like, what do people do that have kids? How do they do it? Like, I genuinely used to want to have kids so much, and now I just think like, 
I don't even have time right now to even like do anything other than work like obviously on my days off I do like I've, this is my day off I've got time to sit down and film this but I don't know if you guys are the same but do you ever just think like how do other people do it I always just look at like parents and I'm just like wow like how do you fit it all in I don't understand um so yeah let me know if I'm not alone in that one and maybe like if you're someone who's like good at balancing your time and able to do everything just let me know your secret how do you do it uh so yeah I would absolutely love to do the podcast again but yeah it's just like finding the time to do it really and trying to fit it in with everything else and then I also feel like when I used to put YouTube as like a top priority after like obviously my job that pays the bills and obviously that needs to be main priority and then it was YouTube like I was putting my family and like my fiance like below that and that's just not right like for example me and Michael we really get to spend time together because we're always working different hours and say for example there's an evening where we're both off and I'm like I really need to edit that YouTube video like I would rather spend time with Michael and I'm just gonna be honest because like that's what's important like yeah like in the back of my mind I'm like I need to edit that video and old me would have been like yeah let's edit that video and get it up but then I'm like not having that quality time with my fiance that like is so rare to even happen so like basically what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to prioritize things more and I need to think of YouTube is a hobby like you do a hobby when you have spare time so don't like not spend time with your loved ones because I'm trying to get this hobby done do you know what I mean do you live anywhere near anyone you know no like the closest people to me are my family that are an hour away like I don't know anyone in this town and I think I like that like I don't know I feel like a lot of people might struggle with that but for me I actually love it and um like I think it's even better because I work from home so I'm I've not even got work colleagues here but that sounds really bad but what I mean is like in Inverness I was always nervous about like bumping into people from like school or like bumping into people that I used to work with or something uh not like that I hate those people or anything like that like even people that I like I just find it awkward bumping into people and it's just because I'm antisocial. so that'll probably come across really harsh and really mean but that's not what I mean I just mean I, it makes me anxious bumping into people if I'm not prepared to know that like I'm gonna meet someone do you know what I mean so um I actually like being in a town where I do not know a single person like obviously it's not too far from home so like someone could visit here or whatever and I might bump into someone but you know realistically speaking um I don't really think I'm gonna bump into anyone I know which yeah I quite like <laughs> but yeah I think that's all the questions that I'm going to answer for this video because I'm aware that it's very long already because I can never just give a short answer which I'm sorry if you find that annoying but I feel like most people that watch Q&As they watch it because they like a lengthy chatty video so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching I've definitely enjoyed just like sitting down and like not even having like a tripod or like lights or like a nice background like it just feels more casual and definitely like why I decided to only ever post on this channel again and just leave my other channel because I just feel like this one's more relaxed and I like it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you again very very soon for another video. Bye guys!